Asian markets mixed after Wall ST record as China worries way. Asian markets were mixed Monday following. A record finish on Wall Street, while hopes for an early U.S. interest rate cut. Were dealt a fresh blow by Federal Reserve officials looking to rein in. Investor expectations. A surge in tech titans including Apple, Amazon, Nvidia and Facebook parent. Meta pushed the S&P 500 to its first new all-time high since early 2022. Thanks to bets on lower borrowing costs this year. The rally was helped by a closely watched survey from the University of Michigan showing a surge in consumer confidence and optimism about falling. Inflation. However, analysts warned that traders may have run a little ahead of themselves at the end of last year as they forecast the Fed will cut rates up to six times before December with the first coming in March. A string of data in recent weeks has shown inflation remains sticky and well above the bank's 2% target while the jobs market continues to show resilience despite borrowing costs sitting at two-decade highs. Minutes from the Fed's most recent meeting also showed decision-makers were happy to keep monetary policy tight until they are confident prices are under control. On Friday, San Francisco Fed boss Mary Daly said it was likely too early to think of moving just yet. While I think it's appropriate for us to look forward and ask when would policy adjustments be necessary so we don't put a stranglehold on the economy, it's really premature to think that that's around the corner, she told Fox Business on Friday. Do I get consistent evidence that inflation is coming down or do I get any Early signs with the labor market starting to falter? Neither one of those right now is pushing me to think that an adjustment is necessary. Atlanta Fed Chief Rafael Bostic said that while he was open to changing his mind, he did not expect a tweak until the third quarter, while his Chicago counterpart Austin Goolsby added that decision-making was fundamentally about the data. Oh, the chances of a reduction before the end of the first quarter fell last week to less than 50%, having been above 80% the week before. Bloomberg News reported. Tokyo was the main winner again, extending its blockbuster start to the year. Thanks to a weaker yen and rising Japanese inflation. Traders are awaiting a Bank of Japan policy decision later in the week. Sydney, Taipei, Manila and Wellington also rose. However, Shanghai and Hong Kong continued their painful start to the year caused by ongoing weakness in China's economy and a lack of measures from authorities aimed at kickstarting growth. Seoul, Singapore, Jakarta and Bangkok also fell. Oil prices retreated again as Middle East tensions were overshadowed by worries over the global outlook and after the International Energy Agency warned demand growth would have in 2024. Key figures around 7 o'clock GMT. Tokyo Nikkei 225, up 1.6% at 36,546.95, close. Hong Kong Hang Seng Index, down 2.8% at 14,880.55. Shanghai Composite, down 2.7% at 2,756.34, close. Dollar slash yen, down at 148.01 yen from 148.10 yen on Friday. Euro to dollar, up at $1.0907 from $1.0898. Pound to dollar, up at $1.2716 from $1.2703. Euro to pound, down at 85.74 pence from 85.76 pence. West Texas Intermediate, down 0.4% at $72.99 per barrel. Brent North Sea Crude, down 0.4% at $78.24 per barrel. New York, Dow, up 1.1% at 37,863.80 points, close. London, FTSE 100, up less than 0.1% at 7,461.93, close.